OneDrive has many practical tools, and in this video we'll teach you everything you need to know to become a OneDrive expert. We'll look at how you can save and organize your digital files, share them, and collaborate with others. You'll find that using OneDrive is very easy. Rod here, welcome to Burn to Learn. Let's start by installing it. Head over to your favorite browser and type in OneDrive.com. Once on the website, create an account or use your existing Microsoft account to log in. If you are a Windows 10 user, you will have OneDrive pre-installed. OneDrive can be easily installed on your tablet. It works in both Android and iOS. Follow the same pattern to install it on your smartphone. We are going to use the online version for this tutorial. Storage is the first step in the process. So how do we move our files from our computer to OneDrive? We have a few options. We can drag and drop single files, multiple files, or upload directly from our computer. We also look at organizing our files into folders. Let's start by selecting a single file from our computer and then drag it and drop it into our OneDrive Online. Now let's drag and drop multiple files. You can also use the Tried and Tested Upload button. Just click the Upload button and then click and select your file. Same thing if you want to upload a folder. Now that you have stored the files, we can create folders to organize them into groups. Just name the new folder and that's it. In a few seconds, you'll see your new folder. Now let's talk about how we can share our document. There are a few ways to do it. We can use the share button, create a file link by email, and even by social media. Let's start by using the share button. Select the document, click on the share button, type the email address of the person you want to share the document with, add a message to let the receiver know what it's about, then send it. You can also copy and send this link to your friends. Just select the document, click on the share button, click on the copy link icon, and copy it. And then you can paste it in the platform you want to share, like email, Skype, or message. Another way to share a document is by email. While you are working in an open document, you can click on the share button and you will see the menu that we have seen before. Type the email address of the person you want to share the document with, add a message if you need it, then click on send. By the way, an interesting feature that is your receiver doesn't need to have a Microsoft account to open the document. They can open it on their favorite browser. What if you want to share by social media? To do it, double click on the file to open your image or PDF. Go to Share Menu and then click on More. Select the social media channel you prefer like Facebook or Twitter and that's it. Keep in mind that this feature works only with images and PDF files. An important option OneDrive offers is the permission settings. Go to the link settings. By default, people can edit the document, but if you want to restrict them from editing, click on the checked box. Brief note. Additionally, if you want to secure your information, you can buy the premium features. For example, if you're working with confidential information, you can set an expiration date or secure the document with a password. Now click on the Apply button and continue the editing process. Now that you have shared your document, it's time to collaborate on it. The benefit of collaboration is that it allows us to work on our documents simultaneously with our coworkers. Whatever you or your co-workers edit in the document will be visible in a few seconds. 
You will be able to see any changes in real time and post comments and review feedback. In the upper right hand corner you can see those currently working on the document. As you can see, we are currently collaborating with two members of the team. So as I am working on this paragraph, John is working on the one above. Right next to the share icon is the comments section. If you want to make comments, click on the comments icon and whoever is currently working on the document will be able to see your comments and reply to them. Since all of this feedback is happening in real time, you can make the adjustments on the fly. Let's talk about OneDrive plans. If you're a Windows user, you already have 5 gigabytes of storage for free. But if you want to get more, you might want to consider these three paid plans. First off, the OneDrive 100 gigabyte plan which includes up to 100 gigabytes of storage and will cost you $1.99 per month. This plan doesn't offer anything noteworthy aside from storage capacity. So you might be better off with the Office 365 Personal Plan. This one includes one terabyte of storage at $6.99 per month. The more you pay, the more you get. It includes Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, Publisher, and Access. And last but not least, the Office 365 Home Plan. When it comes to storage, you can't go wrong with the 6 terabytes included with this plan. At $9.99 per month, this plan also includes the Microsoft Mobile Office apps. What sets this plan apart is the abundance of storage space. The 6 terabytes of storage will be more than enough for multiple users. Whatever package you choose, we hope that you now have a better grasp of the key features that make OneDrive such a powerful virtual office toolkit. Storage, sharing, and collaboration. You will find these features to be the backbone of most online office suites. For example, Google Drive. And more good news? Our team at Burn to Learn is already hard at work to bring you our next video, everything you need to know to become a Google Drive expert. Meanwhile, please subscribe. Click the bell icon and check out any of our over 200 informative tech teaching videos here on our channel.